Well, hello everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing well. I just wanted to quickly cover some elements I'm going to be incorporated in my diet over the next couple weeks. Hopefully you can follow along. I heard that 95% uh, of people fail at new diets. I think it's probably the other way around that 95% of diets fail people. So we will go into our first item I'm going to try. I want to get into some really concrete data in things that I'm going to do. And I know one thing that really helps me is when I document what I do. For instance, what I ate, my activities, when I slept, when and where, things that I can use, look back on, research, and use and hold myself accountable. There's an old saying about creating a plan, sticking to a plan, plan that things will not go according to plan, and throw away the plan. We'll just need to move, adapt, and adjust. Secondly, I'm going to be watching my intake and eat healthy in accordance to my lifestyle and needs, which is very important. Probably the number one item that I've heard from coaches and celebrity coaches is what their diet is. And it's all tailored to them specifically. Just like you wouldn't put a foreign item into your car or give something to your pet that you don't know, same thing applies to diet. The third thing that I'm going to watch is my cardiovascular. Uh, I love running. I like to do it. Um, hopefully I will, I will be able to do more of it. Brad Pitt says in World War Z... Those who moved survived, those who didn't did not. So hopefully running will be an element that I can talk about, incorporate as we look into more elements of my diet. It's always great to get a good sweat going too. The fourth element I'm going to incorporate is weights. Joining a gym, just like a church, is good for fellowship and reinforcement of our beliefs. So is a gym to our health and well-being. It's this simple, muscle burn. Muscle is our furnace. Furnaces burn our calories. Calories and loss of calories help us lose weight. Plus, I love going to the gym as it is. Number five, my curveball. My curveball is going to be apple cider vinegar. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I heard it helps sugar, regulates uh, appetite, and helps stabilize blood sugar. So I'm going to give it a whirl. Never should you put your well-being on one item. Never should. It will always let you down. But choosing an item to help incorporate and aid my diet can't hurt. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to document what I'm doing for one. Two, I'm going to try to eat healthy and watch what I eat. Three, hit the road. Do some running. I can always do that. Four, do some weights. And five, uh, throw in my curveball, which is apple cider vinegar. We'll see how this goes. If you want to follow along, it'll be interesting to see how I, and hopefully you have good luck as well.